Okay, welcome back to the show, episode 472, and this is a Mindfulness on Monday or Mom episode. And I am so excited to have my good friend Natalie Tellish here with me today. Natalie is a conscious parenting coach, and I think we could all use her wisdom right now as we're living through this global pandemic. So welcome, Natalie. It's great to have you here. Hi, Erin. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Super. So you are going to be one of our speakers at our Now Digital Revolutionizing Parenthood event, which we have now decided to make free to all parents around the world. And we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. So you were going to be talking about parenting peacefully. And I think that topic is more relevant now than ever. So tell me about your thoughts on that. Yeah, I think right now, all of the kids are home. All of the families, most of the families have been brought home other than those who are out working in the fields that are dealing with even more stress than what they already were before this. And all of these families that are now all together at home, I think, that just brings about so many more opportunities to need these tools for peaceful parenting mm -hmm. because maybe before they didn't see their kids as much and they weren't kind of at home as much or they were parenting perfectly fine in their eyes and they just have way more stress now than they did a few weeks ago and they were already stressed a few weeks ago. So I feel like this is very, very crucial for people to be able to find these strategies and start utilizing them. So what do you think that parents can do who are suddenly faced with this uh, basic, basically everyone's homeschooling now. <laughs> it's like the, uh, the thing to do. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. And parents are trying to work from home. Some parents have young, young kids at home and they're trying to work and the kids are on online schooling and they're having trouble figuring that stuff out. And what advice do you have for parents? Yeah, it is so much. It is so much to be thrown at a family all at once. And it's not as if they chose it either. They didn't just decide to start homeschooling and bring everyone working from home. It was really thrown in their laps in, in a very critical situation around the world. So that just brings so much more trauma to everyone in this moment. So my biggest advice to everyone who's facing this is to reduce expectations, minimize expectations for yourself, for your kids, for your spouse, for our government, <laughs> for everyone. Just expect that everyone's trying their very best in every moment. Oh, I love that. You know, reducing expectations is something that can benefit us as parents always, every moment of every day. And that advice is even more sound right now. Mm-hmm. So how do you recommend that parents reduce their expectations? Can you give me kind of an example or something? Sure, absolutely. So one thing that I like to do is I do a brain dump when I'm feeling overwhelmed with my to-do list and or even just my anxieties and my fears and my worries. I take a blank sheet of paper and I put on some music and I just write for a good five minutes if I have to, I write everything that's overwhelming me. Anything from the fact that our globe is facing a pandemic to the trash needs taken out way too often. <laughs> everything. I just write every single thing that is on my, in my mental to-do list all the time. And then once I have kind of dumped that all out on paper, I sort it. I sort it out between the things I can control and the things that I can't control. And then I have to tap into my faith regarding those things that I can't control. Whatever someone has faith in, that's where they just have to let go of their worry regarding those things they can't control and then start tackling those things that are in their control and start prioritizing them. And usually what it boils down to 
my list of maybe 50 things goes down to about five things. Making sure everyone's fed, making sure everyone's bathed, not even that often because we're not going anywhere <laughs> and really just doing the bare minimum and connecting with ourselves. I love that. That's one of my favorite strategies I've ever heard. I really, really love it. And I love the idea of getting it all out of, out of our head and on paper. I think, especially as moms, but as parents, and especially now during this crisis, I think we carry so much kind of on our shoulders, in our minds. This has to be done. That has to be done. I can't forget that. And it can feel like your brain is just going to overflow like a pot of water just boiling over the sides. And if you let all that, put that all on paper, then you don't have to worry about forgetting it. You know, you have 10 things you're trying to remember and one of them's going to fall off. You're only going to remember nine or something. Mm -hmm. If you get it all on paper, then it, I, I can imagine that feels like just one little level of, oh, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. now I've emptied it off of my mind. And then I love the second part where you say you're, you're prioritizing and organizing them into groups and you're actually seeing on paper, what of this can I actually control and do something about? And what can I not? Mm -hmm. And then that list of to do gets smaller and smaller to the stuff that's practically all you can actually influence. And then the rest, you just put your faith out there and release it. Wow. Absolutely. That is a powerful thing. I'm going to start doing that when I hang Good. up with you. <laughs> you might need extra paper, I would imagine. <laughs> I did tell my friend this morning for the first time through this crisis i i for the first time i have a headache i'm very aware that i have so much on my mind and your idea comes at the perfect time for me because now i can just take it all out empty that brain put it on paper and deal with it later mm -hmm. so i sadly, appreciate it sadly what happens for a lot of people when they carry that around is instead of it boiling out like a pot of water it pours out onto the ones that they love the most. Our children. And yes, our children, our spouses, even ourselves, because we beat ourselves up so much over not being able to accomplish this, this, and this, not matching up to those Pinterest pictures of the perfect homeschooling day. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just um, finding a different outlet for all of that is a really good tool. And it goes back to what you said initially, which is reducing the expectations. Mm -hmm. We reduce mm -hmm. the expectations primarily on ourselves. Then we can be kinder to ourselves if we use that technique of the brain dump and getting it on paper, then we will feel less teetering on the edge of a breakdown or a blow up. And then we'll have so much more energy and space to show up to our loved ones when we're all confined in these close quarters and we can't get out to get relief or break, you know, a little bit we can, but for the most part, we're kind of, there's a lot of together time right now, which is good, sure. but it can be challenging. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we can show up in a better energy and a better state if we're doing these things that you suggest. Absolutely. And I think now is the time for us to, take hold of these teachings and implement them aggressively now. I don't like to use the word aggressive when we talk about parenting, but really with determination, all these things that, all these wonderful teachings, we can take them and use them right now, this moment, today, and we can weather the storm individually and collectively. Yes, I love that. I think that's beautiful. Wow. Well, Natalie, you have hit a home run, in my opinion, with giving parents really valuable information that they can use right this minute to reduce their stress, improve their connections with their kids, their spouse, their loved ones, and just weather the storm. Thank you so much. Thank you, Erin. And so where can our listeners, obviously they can join our conference to hear you talk more in depth about this topic. 
that's so vital right now. And then where else can they connect with you or learn more about your work? Okay. I think primarily on Facebook, Natalie Tellish, Conscious Parenting Coach. And then also you can get a hold of me through my website, which is consciousparentcoaching.com. And I just want to add that during this crisis, I've made myself available for one hour a day indefinitely for free coaching sessions for anyone who feels the need to work through their fears, their worries, their anxieties, or their parenting. If they just need some practical strategies to get through, I'm available for you. What a beautiful gift. And I can't thank you enough for that. We all in the, in this service industry that we work in the service field we all have a beautiful opportunity to serve parents everywhere and i thank mm -hmm. you for that generous offer natalie oh you're welcome thank you erin so i hope everyone listening will check out natalie's website and tune in to her breakout session during our now free digital event on april 25th thank you so much for being here natalie thank you Okay, that wraps up today's episode. Wherever you are in this world, I hope that you make it a very peaceful day for yourself.